Everybody to Fubar Sports Podcast. I'm your host Josh, along with my partners in slime, Mr. Fu. How's it going, Fu? What's up, man? And Mr. Josie on the mix, providing a color commentary. Doobity doobity. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. So here we are with uh, episode number what four? Finally, oh fucking no! <laughs> Listen, five, man, to be don't honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're here to podcast, not count. Oh, oh, okay, okay. This isn't a math in session and such. I think it's five, actually. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Well, my you know, sources tell me. <laughs> hey, man, how we do you feel it. that we made it? Brady and the boys are back in town. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. It's the World Series all it's, over again. Seriously, dude. Seriously. If anything, Red Sox man, against fucking if, Dodgers. If, it, if anything, man, this is the time. To jump on the, the Rams, the Rams bandwagon, bandwagon and never look back because it could be food. like they're in the play, they're in the Super Bowl. There you go, Foo. Now's your chance. Now's your chance. Fuck that. <laughs> Come on, man. Fuck the Rams. You don't I, listen. Uh, you know uh, what? A I, clothing I, line can only go so far. <laughs> Nay, the best clothing line in the world, <laughs> such as the Raiders, can only go so far in the NFL. And it's it's crazy, man, because they're even considering changing the logo when they move to Vegas. So I don't. Ah, slightly. I don't know <laughs> to what extent because that's a perfect logo that they should never fucking. It's just touch. The, like the the boldness in it. It's just mm-hmm. supposed to kind of change, okay. and like the textures of some of the colors. But mm-hmm. it's still pretty much black and fucking silver. Yeah, um, or silver and black. They're they gonna get rid of his uh, eye patch because it's insensitive to pirates. They're gonna throw a lady on their watch. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> it's insensitive to it's pirates. Las Vegas. <laughs> well, I have that pirate show there. That's why I'm pretty sure the pirate unions. Like, Nick Fury fuck out of here. is livid. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna have two eye patches now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be as blind as the Raiders' offense. Oh. Too close, too close home. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Goddamn Patriots, dude. That was a hell of a game, though. That game was sick between the Pats and the Chiefs. Yeah, it was insane. Um, it came, dude. It came down to the wire. I didn't think the Chiefs had a chance if it if the Pats won the toss. Mm-hmm. Especially, yeah. Once the Pats won the toss, I was like, "It's over. This is it, dude. They're gonna score." Yeah, dude. It, it was because the the Chiefs defense. Really hold, can only hold on for so long. Like they're they were the worst defense in the league. Mm-hmm. So and uh, also um, they're considering firing the defensive coordinator. They should. They are. Well, I'm Bob pretty Sutton. sure they're going to do it. Yeah, Bob Sutton, man. I mean, last couple of years, it, it, the defense has not been what it's been touted to be. Um, so yeah, I mean, it all it makes sense that you know they would lose in that way. But goddamn, it was so good. Patrick Mahomes did such a fucking awesome job. Like uh, he he's gonna be even more phenomenal next year. So yeah. watch out. He may actually be the number one pick next year in the fantasy football drafts. All right, all right. So uh, yeah, man. And then last but definitely least, the uh, the L.A. Rams beat the Saints. Why why the least, man? That's uh, that's America's <sighs> Dude, team right now. This one, the, but this one's mired in like the dumbest controversy about the penalty. I mean. Mm. I knew that that as soon as the they made that call, I was like, "Great, the entire game, nay, the entire fucking championship is going to be tarnished because of this stupid controversy." It's going to be like the tuck rule, man. It's mm. going to be like the goddamn mm. tuck rule. So, hey, this may propel you guys to a dynasty. All right, I'm just okay like with the this. tuck rule. Just like the tuck rule, <laughs> man. <laughs> um, yeah. So crazy shit, crazy shit, and then uh. Also, James Harden just had a monster weekend over the weekend, uh, having, I believe, his 20th game in a row where he scored 30 uh, points or more. And he reached it again. 35, right? Yeah. Um, no, no, 30 plus. Oh, 30 plus? Yeah, 30 plus. So some nights it was 40. Uh, he had two nights back to back 40, 40 plus. And then uh, just tonight. He um, broke Kobe's, right? Yeah, he broke Kobe's record of uh, sixteen. I think. So only it's the, and Kobe was the only previous. Uh, was previously the only owner of that record. Oh, okay. So he set it pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. he's on pace to actually catch uh, Michael next. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Michael's at like twenty one, 
and then wilts at like 42. Okay. So if you were to keep keep it up for 43 games or mm-hmm. for the rest of the year, uh, yeah, he definitely beat Wilt's record. Damn. So he's been annoyingly phenomenal. Like I saw him on the game on Saturday against the Lakers, and dude. No, like all of his points ga- came just straight off of him. Mm-hmm. No one was assisting him. No one passed him the ball. All, like every time he had the ball in his hands and he was going to score, he fucking scored. Like and he still still scored over plus, like forty plus points and helped the Rockets yeah, come back beasting. to win. So yeah, man. So that was my with the weekend in sports and foo. I hear you're going to be taking over. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting subjects. I thought that was very relevant to our little sports update for stuff we haven't covered on yet. But first, I'll um, start us off with some controversy in Philly, man. Oh, no. What happened? Well, the current situation with the quarterback, uh, Carson Wentz, you know, their high draft pick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Uh, our franchise. And Nick Foles. So now the big big debate is what do the Eagles do? Do they offer Nick Foles the $20 million team option? Mm -hmm. Or do they let let him walk? walk? Yeah. Uh, Because that's kind of a lot of money to play your backup quarterback. Yeah. And a lot of pl- recently, a couple of players who uh, came out and said that they would rather stick with Nick uh-huh. than, than Carson. Uh-huh. And just, you know, uh, one of them mentioned that uh, Carson Wentz was clashing with the uh, offensive coordinator this year. Mm-hmm. And when uh, Foles went in, that's why the offense was just clicking because they were pretty much everyone except Carson was uh, buying into his game plan. So yeah. there's kind of some questions that they need to start. Asking because some people are not starting to believe that they want to play with uh, Carson Wentz. So you want to hear my take on that? Yeah, let's hear it. So my take on that is that's BS because many players actually have come out um, after that report to come in defense of Carson. Uh, One player in particular, right tackle Lane Johnson said, whoever wrote that article needs to check their sources. Hashtag fake news. Carson has been and is our leader and our QB. Y'all know where to find me if you have any issues. Fly Eagles fly. And then Zach Ertz. Don't believe everything you read. Carson has been nothing but a great person, a great teammate, and a great leader since day one. Our locker room stands behind him all the way. We can't get we can't wait to get back to work and be the best team we can be in twenty nineteen. Mm-hmm. And then Fletcher Cox. Reading through this Carson Wentz thing. And as a leader on this team, none of that is true. Carson is a great teammate and a great player. We are all behind him 100%. He's our guy and will come back and prove the world world wrong. If you got a problem, feel free to at me. I'll respond. Dang. So I didn't see that part. Yeah. So and a lot of people are saying that these this is just people talking shit because this isn't um, there's no names behind it. It's an unknown, unknown players. And. The leadership in that lock in those locker rooms—it's probably an, a relatively new player to the team, right? It must probably be a rookie probably a or rookie, something. someone young, you know, or maybe shit, maybe even Michael Bennett. Um, I'm not putting any names out there, you know. I'm just saying, but you know, because he's still he was just with us for a year. Oh, Michael Bennett's yeah, controversial but, like that. Yeah, but I don't honestly, I don't, I wouldn't take too much stock into it. I think it's just people trying to cause some type of rift to you know get pull Nick Foles away. Mm, interesting. So I because Philly has some intentions to bring it back. They want to sign him back. That's why I'm yeah, yeah. That's why I've understood so far. Yeah. So. And he's still interested, but he's still if someone offers him fucking big bank, he's gonna take it. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. So huh. I mean that's a little bit of the Homer in me, but you know, there's reports. It's probably true. It's probably true, Foo. And actually Foo, mov- moving on to the next topic, I don't know if you heard recently, but uh the uh UFC Dana White came out a couple days ago and said uh, they held, they added a new welterweight division oh. and added a new belt. Oh, really? Then, they didn't have a welterweight prior. Uh, no, it was it, like it's a specific. Right? Yeah, it's like it's like it was flyweight before. So now I oh, think it's okay. some type of welterweight flyweight class combination. Uh-huh. And like that a prom- division. Kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. I don't know how exactly it's going to break down with it, uh-huh. but it's just a new a brand new belt, and they immediately prompted a response from Conor McGregor. Oh, great. Saying great. like new belt, I'm back. Basically, <laughs> oh. how he was over the UFC, uh-huh. right? And now that there's a new belt, he wants it. He wants to, to come conquer. back now. Yeah. So, well, he just tweeted that, and then I guess Dana White um, was saying that recently this past weekend he was hyping up a potential 
you know, the potential uh, Khabib and McGregor rematch. Uh-huh. And uh, I guess word got to Khabib that he was considering it. And Khabib, Khabib's response was, why? I smashed him. Why do we even need a rematch? <laughs> so, yeah. uh, and then to p- remind people of the fight, Khabib won the first two rounds. Right. Uh, Connor won the third. And he made him tap out by chokehold in the fourth round. Right. And it was agreed upon that could be pretty much whooped his ass. Yeah, it was. It was no co- like. It was no There's question. No question yeah. Yeah. about it at all. Yeah. No, I mean. So he McGregor was way too cocky for that fight. Oh, <sighs> yeah, he, he was way too cocky for a lot of things. Yes, but, but specifically that's when he that just fight. got off of that um, Mayweather fucking right. bullshit, right? Yeah, and he yeah he, um, he was probably just practicing his boxing. And by the way, did you see that Mayweather um, fought it. in oh, no, uh, in China? Uh huh. Oh, he did. Yeah, and he had a first round knockout. Oh shit! So yeah. he actually threw a punch. Yeah, get the fuck. He knocked out him out the first round. Uh, he got paid like um like uh fifty million or something, forty million. Of course, why not? Just to show up. Yeah, dude. That's crazy, huh? That's insane. Yeah, but it's nuts that he went to China and accepted. Well, that. the fact that also we just had another fight with uh, Pacquiao, and Pacquiao ended up being the victor on that one. Uh, was pretty. It's pretty interesting. What do you, I, 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 you guys probably weren't uh, around to, to watch it, but... Uh, what was that fight? That was this uh, last weekend. It was uh, Pacquiao against uh, Adrian Broner. Oh, mm-hmm. God, I couldn't care less, dude. <laughs> wow. That's the state of boxing pa- these days, I pretty guess. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Pacquiao, Pacquiao won, yeah. but, yeah, I mean, it wasn't really exciting. I mean, the only exciting thing out of this whole thing, man, mm-hmm. you know what was the most exciting thing? What's that? Was that Pacquiao's house got burglarized during <laughs> his fight. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're at, like, it, they're at it again. Just food. like Yasiel. Just food. like Yasiel, man. They done that to LeBron too, mm. like four years ago. Yeah, that's, that's right. Fucked up, dude. Crazy shit. I mean, they're not home. They know it. At least for those twelve rounds. Yeah, like they <laughs> haven't. Least. They haven't said what was uh, stolen yet. They haven't mm. said what was stolen yet. But yeah, I mean, you can only imagine, dude. <laughs> probably a bunch Big of fucking money. Rolexes, bunch of golden llamas, stuff, dude. Oh, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Nuts. Golden llamas. So much money. Golden llamas. So anyway, Fu. Uh, that's my name. Um, <laughs> no, I came across an article I thought was very funny because I thought that maybe you should consider doing this job someday. Oh, oh God. It's not <laughs> I'm listening. Uh, the Rams currently have um, – <laughs> they specifically have a coach for this this one function during the games. Uh-huh. But I'll lead you up a little bit. The guy's name is Ted Ted Rath, and he's their director of strength training and performance. Okay. So, you know, he uh, oversees that part of the training uh, specifics for each player uh-huh. that kind of writes them their own uh, kind of fitness plan. Yeah. It was kind of ro- brought to light it, to people watching the game this past weekend that Ted Rath is actually the guy in charge of pulling Sean McVay off the field uh, when he steps onto the field, <laughs> starts complaining to refs. And it was confirmed that legit, that is his other That's job. That's his job? That's his job, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, there's a video of him. Like, literally, like, as the ref's about to cross in front of Sean yeah, McVay, he, like, he pulls goes up behind back. him and he starts pulling <laughs> him back. <laughs> he just grabs him by the waist and he pulls him back. Oh my and then God. Sean McVay walks forward again. <laughs> So it's just constantly like he's dancing with him pulling him. And, then, and when uh, asked about it, Ted Rath said, dance, I think it's more of a tango. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, that's hilarious, man, that they have that coach. Well, I mean, he's also their strength and conditioning coach. But right, like, right. hey, man, part of the job is to fucking keep the head coach off the field. Yeah. yeah. That's hilarious, though. And get that's, thrown out of the field. That's, as, that's as a result. funny, man. That's great. <laughs> that was oh, that's great. Oh uh, man, that was great stuff. Interesting stuff, you know. I mean, the Rams, their coaching has got them this far. <laughs> yeah, they're really they're they're passionate shit. about it. They're doing some sure. crazy shit, man. <laughs> uh, anyways, moving on to NBA related news. Uh, Carmelo Anthony, he got traded. You saw how? Yeah, how did that work? So apparently, he never got released from the Rockets. What the fuck? They just yeah. <laughs> they, uh, they it's like take a seat, bro. Pretty much, dude. Well, this is one of the first times that they the team is like, we have no intention of playing in this guy uh-huh. after a certain point, and they didn't do anything with him. They just told him like, don't come to the facility. Oh anymore. damn! What? Yeah, the hell? it's so weird. So basically, they traded, so they still retained his contract rights, but they were like, yeah, you're pretty much we're not going to use you. Like, just don't waste your time, kind of thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, which is very odd because that never happens. But anyways, they traded him to the Bulls today, 
and Adrian Wojnarowski was the one who broke the news. Yeah. And he got questioned, hey, why, what did the Bulls plan on doing with Mallow? And he responded, uh, Bulls have no intention of keeping Mallow either. Yeah, I just They're straight read. up going to release him. Yeah. So what they did is they traded Ma- the Carmelo fuck? Anthony uh-huh. and cash uh, enough cash, one point five million, for them to have a trade exception um, coming up to gain another one point five million in salary for the Bulls. Crazy. Uh, but yeah, Carmelo Anthony's just getting tossed around now. Yeah, they're saying that he may get traded before the deadline, before the seventh again, or waived. That he's definitely going to get waived. The Bulls are, have no plans to retain him, which immediately brings up to, okay, well, where who where is he going to play? Because he wants to play still, and he's still a pretty capable player. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, he's just older cat now. Oh, no. Uh, where is this yeah, going? The, the most rumored place is to be the Lakers, which <sighs> is that only... Gonna- like, it's only valid, only valid because they have been having a ton of injuries this year. Yeah. Okay. And honestly, but at the same yeah. time, I found out from earlier today, the Lakers currently don't have a 15th spot to play with like that because of their recent draft picks. Yeah. So they would have to trade someone away. Mm-hmm. I'm not for trading someone away off the roster to get Carmelo. So luckily, it will take a lot of work for us to do it. It will literally take a trade for us to do it. Unless, unless we make a trade with another team. Like trade like the three young pieces or two young pieces. True. The, then we could possibly the throw in Carmelo in yeah. the trade. Yeah. Uh, other rumored spots are the Nets, uh, the Portland Trailblazers, Trailblazers, okay. <laughs> Trailblazers, <me. laughs> and also uh, considerations again that he may play in China. Oh, okay. He might go the Stephon Marbury route. Well, because um, Dwayne Wade, who used to play LeBron Fu. Um, he got offered a $25 million contract to play in China oh, or come back this year with the Bulls for like a 15 mil. Oh, you mean with the Heat? With the big, Heat, yeah. yeah. So he came back to the Heat. Dang. Yeah, so there's always that option for players to go play in China and make another 20, 30 million. Crazy. Yeah, but hopefully Lakers don't get him, man. Fuck, fuck that guy. <laughs> 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 I like your vote of confidence. Yeah. Uh, some MLB news, Foo. Uh, Sonny Gray got traded from the Yankees to the Reds on a three, three-team deal mm-hmm. with the Mariners. Uh, well, what did the Mariners get? The Reds acquired Gray and pitcher Reaver San Martin. And then they sent infield prospect Shed Long and a 2019 draft pick are going to the Yankees. And also the Red signed Gray to a three-year extension through 2023 after the deal was made. Oh. Yeah. And then the, the Yankees traded Long uh, to Seattle Mariners in a separate deal. That's how they were able to do it. Oh, okay. Shed Long was the infield prospect. And what did so, the Yankees get? Uh, the Yankee, Well, the Yankees got a 2019 competitive balance pick. Oh, okay, and that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. What the fuck? Yeah, so they pretty much traded him away for nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I'm getting out of that. Yeah, so there must be some plans going on. Hey, man, the Reds look like they're ready to make some noise, dude. Oh, unless uh, unless the Yankees are trying to sign one of these big guys. Yeah, I think so because price. they're uh, save uh, free up some salary cap. Yeah, because it'll free up. They'll have about uh, twelve million extra calories salary cap now. Oh, yeah. So we may look at. Another, they may try to jump at Harper, dude. At Harper. Or Machado. Probably Machado, because I heard Machado may want to play for the Yankees. Yeah, he would be down. Yeah. But fuck that guy. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that guy. Now, hey, you know, there, that's there your was, boy, Foo. Yeah. It's not, no, it's not. You know, there was even debate <laughs> on our uh, Facebook, our uh, Fubar Sports Facebook page, you know, for those of you Facebook listening. Facebook group. Yeah, Facebook group. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, you know, discussing, uh, there was a debate to, between, you know, Dodgers either signing Harper mm-hmm. or Machado. Right. And I, for one, would. Much prefer Harper to mm-hmm. Machado. Mm-hmm. You know, there was a lot of arguments that Machado has, like, brings a lot of hype. Uh, you know, he has the dingers. You know, he gets the home runs. But, dude, that attitude. And not only that, he didn't come in clutch. It was deflating to yeah. watch him. And, yeah, just like you said, he didn't show up. He, like, that's why we traded My for anxiety him. levels were through the roof when that guy was at bat. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> fuck exciting. Like, it was annoying. It's like, it, dude, yeah. get the fuck out of here. Yeah. He had no hustle, Mister. I'm not a hustle guy. Yeah, I mean, like, he called it. He called it. Yeah, he he knows he know who knows him better than him. Mm-hmm. But you know who's and a instead hustle of guy. getting better, he gets mad and then you know steps on some guy's foot. or Yeah, something. fucking little dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> and then I mean, I I would again Harper more grieving right now. Yeah, I know. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, you hit me. You hit me in the feels. You know what, man? If we don't, get, <laughs> it's it's kind of looking like we're not going to get Harper. 
I don't um, think we're gonna get heartburn. Um, which is fine because we don't have to actually, get Machado now, do we? No, no we're okay. not getting either. I don't think we're gonna either of them. Which is either, cool man. because we can still get some like key pieces, and they're not necessarily blockbuster guys, mm-hmm. and we can still be competitive to win the West. So yeah, but still, I want to be like superpower. Well, we're really really banking on Bueller to come through, Walker Bueller. Yeah. And then, I mean, they, did get, they if, did get Joe Kelly. Yeah, so, so I mean, w- that's what I mean. If we just get, like, one or two more additions like that, uh-huh. we could still be competitive. And, you know, we just got to – it seems weird, but the Dodgers keep banking on these young guys coming up from pros- being prospects to come clutch for them. And, you know, finally going to get Seager back is going to be a plus. And I hope he could still play well, man, because uh, now I wasn't too impressed with Ballinger's play last year. Yeah, Ballinger was very – up and down, well, down a lot for for the majority of the year. But um, you know, I yeah, hopefully he can bounce back this year. I think he will. Um, I'm excited to see what Muncie does. I mm-hmm. hope Muncie improves, dude. He was a nice surprise last year for sure. Oh yeah, I hope he can retain that same level he's playing at. Uh-huh. And then I just overall that we could still compete for you know because it's playoffs. Anything can happen. I'll be happy, and we're not gonna. Yeah, it's like. We're going to get ready to make more moves coming up, too. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, actually, it was just recently reported that uh, Carl Ravage of MLB, um, he said that uh, Machado is going to take a hit financially because of the World Series drama. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, so he explains that the White Sox offered him a seven-year, $175 million offer. Oh, shit. Um, which is less than $30 million Which is, yeah, he wanted three hundred mil. He wanted a $300 million contract. And the White Sox was like, nah, man. We saw what you did in the <laughs> fucking World Series. We're not, we're not about that. Yeah, that shit was on TV, yo. Yeah. Th- <laughs> yeah. Seriously, right, man. I can't even deny that realize shit. that? Yeah. <laughs> and that, but that's kind of crazy that neither Harper nor Machado have signed at this point. Uh, honestly, I think now teams are, have been like, you know what? Let's chill on giving these guys over-the-top contracts. Yeah, we don't want to set a precedent. You exactly. Know? Well, I mean, there, this, the precedent has been set, man. Albert Pujols, he signed a 10-year, $250 million deal. Yeah, but when you get like two, three, four guys doing what he did, you know, it, it, now everybody who went to the World Series is able to cash in on, on some bullshit. I mean, Giancarlo Stanton hasn't even gone to the World Series, and he has a 20, what? Uh, he had like a 250 mil 10-year deal. Yeah. Anyways, going to my next point, Fu. Uh, it actually kind of leads into my final point as well, because uh, good old Tony Romo, Fu, you know, that broadcaster man. Oh, not the restaurant? No, not the restaurant. <laughs> oh, well, that's Tony Romo. The CBS broadcaster? Sorry. Yeah, got it. Um, he has, he's been reported to have uh, CBS is going to give him a substantial raise uh, after his contract expires, uh-huh. uh, quoting, they will do whatever it takes to keep him in the booth. Yeah, because there are a lot of people are thinking like, dude. Why doesn't Tony coach? Like, he's calling every one of these plays which is to my, a T. Which yeah. is my next point. Stephen A. Smith yeah, came out, uh-huh. uh, you know, to, uh, on Monday, uh, first day after the uh, the championship weekend, saying, Tony Romo is the best play caller I've ever watched <laughs> on TV. <laughs> well, he was on the field he for li- how many years? And that's what he said. Uh-huh. He literally understands the quarterback position so much. He can just tell by looking at the defenses going on. They're like, this guy needs to be, this guy needs the Cowboys to be like, you're our next coach. And if not, then the Cowboys are idiots. That's what Stephen A. Smith said. Straight up. Yeah, Yeah, no, I agree. I I mean, when you understand the game that well, he can can always go back to calling games when he's done with that. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, that's fine. Do the John Madden thing. But it's interesting because it looks like CBS is going. Which I think you have a nice point to ring upon next. Mm-hmm. CBS is willing to pay him some over the top money, to which could him. be like a ten to fourteen million a year. Uh, Meanwhile, an average head coach job in the NFL is getting like six million a year, geez, seven yeah, eight Jesus million a year. Christ. Okay, so it wouldn't be worth it, at least not on a financial level. Which is the reason why John Gruden left. He was getting paid five million a year. Mm-hmm. The Raiders are like, how's ten million a year sound? Fuck. Why do you think he took it? Yeah, yeah. he took it in a heartbeat. Yeah. Ten yeah. year, tell ten, ten million, million for a year. ten year. Yeah, for that's, ten that's, years, that's a good deal. Yeah. So yeah. CBS is going to give him a fight. You know, they're probably going to offer him. I'd say fifteen million a year, unless Jerry Jones is just. Bat shit crazy enough to be like, Tony, <laughs> well, Tony, I'll give you a 20. 
I'll give you I a mean, dude, million. imagine. And now mean, coaches are up there with their fucking salaries. Well, I think you were kind of ringing upon an issue we could see coming up with the NFL. Yeah, like a lot of coaches recently, like um, there's a coach, Cliff, Kling, uh, Cliff Kingsbury. Mm-hmm. He was uh, He's going to be the new head coach for the Cardinals. Um, the one, In his contract, there's like a lockout clause. So yeah. pretty much at the end of, I think they said at the end of the 2020 season, um, there's going to be a lockout. So we're going to probably see a coaches strike. NFL, mm-hmm. NFL, NFL lockout by the coaches. By dude. the coaches. Um, but not even then, like even before, we may even see a NFL players uh, strike. In 2021, um, in 2021, Yeah, 2021, 2022. Cause How's that work? They just know football. They, like, at it's, like all. A la- it's like a labor union work stoppage. Yeah. Same exact thing. So are they like outside with Picket yeah. signs. Yep. Yep. The players are outside yep. with picket signs. Yeah, they did well, that. Well, they should be. They probably don't. the fans will join them. Yeah, they did that. I think in... it would be the biggest party. They tailgate. did it. They've done Dude, it. they've done it before. They've what do you done mean? It several when? times. And the NFL. The NFL had right, What now. was the last time? And what happened then? Was it two thousand two? No, it was ninety nine. Uh, no, it, there was um, one in the 80s. Hold on, I'm finding it right now. Okay, all right. It's been done before, man. That's uh, what I'm saying. There was one in Yeah, 18, but it wasn't in HD. There was one in 1987. <laughs> 4K. Um, 4K, I'm sorry. <laughs> let's see here. There was a strike in 1968. Let's see here. But everybody was picketing in 1968. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You bring up a good point. Uh, 82. And then what was the other one? 2011. Yeah. Oh, well, that was pretty good. Yeah, 2011 okay. was right. the last one. That's what NFL I mean. There was strike. a recent one. Okay. There was even an NBA strike. I remember there being an NBA, I think even 20. an NHL one. There was an NHL one, yeah. Yeah. yeah that yeah, one was probably one. the most recent. That's the one I remember. I had no I idea. This is how much I don't watch sports. 2014 or something. 2014, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so man. If they're due up because, again, like they're seeing these NBA contracts. And then. Not again, even the NBA's uh, college football coaches, man. They're getting paid fucking. More than governors of the state. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, well, they make more than uh, Nick Saban makes like twelve million a year. Jeez, yeah. college coach. Yeah, I believe it. And and all that he, money they rank in, and he coaches less games on than any given fucking game? Uh, NFL coaches. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, yeah. in the players' case, like there's not much guaranteed money in their contracts. Like, yeah. it, it's the same thing. They get a guaranteed signing bonus, and then the rest is broken down to per game. Be pretty much. Payouts. Yeah, and if you're medically not cleared, then you don't get your money. Pretty much, or you only get like a small percentage of it. Yeah, and then right. the coaches again. It's because you still have college coaches making more than these NFL coaches, so it's going to be interesting. It's be we may be without football for an extended period. Hopefully, not back to back. Well, we do got something uh, looking forward to uh, well, coming up on the next show. Uh, we'll probably see the uh, return of LeBron by then. Hopefully, man. Uh, going to kind of see where the Lakers are headed after that. Yeah. They're, where are we in the season? We so are far? currently the eighth, seventh, eighth, okay. ninth seed within that reach. I think yeah. we're the eighth seed right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's no reason to panic yet, you know, especially because of all the injuries. But okay. LeBron's been out for extended period of time. I was poised for panic. You're poised? <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to go, dude. Just fire it off. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna start panicking my they're, ass off. They're actually twenty five and twenty two. They're third in the Pacific Division, um, and let me see where they're at in the. Pretty sure they're standings. eighth. Like I said, mm-hmm. yeah, I think they're maybe eighth. Yep, you got to take the fool's word for it. He's been right every time. <laughs> oh, has he? We'll see the return of LeBron coming up, and then uh, oh, I, actually the ninth. Oh, ha. the ninth. Oh, I said seven, eight, no, nine, three. No, no you didn't. <laughs> The fool, will, the fool will know later when he edits the podcast. <laughs> I'm not hanging through that. Out. There you are. You got, got. You got, got, motherfucker. You can't win them all, bro. True that, true that. Yeah, and then uh, I guess it'll just be a two-week hiatus on football um, until we get the... Oh, yeah, the Pro Bowl we were bringing up with you the, uh, yesterday, man. Oh, right. So they're not really playing a football game. Yeah, they're playing a They'll football game. They, they still play a football, football game. game, but they they have Saturday activities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like just like, um, you know, they have the dunk contest okay. and the three-point sh- uh, three shot. Oh, so they're shoehorning a football game amongst all that, too? No, like in, amongst all that, it's like weird like games that each player are involved in. Like okay. one, all like... All the skill position players have right. to try and kick a thirty yard field goal. Damn. So okay. So, yeah. And yeah. then like even parts of the goalpost, they net it into like f- 
six parts, and, then, like, and each has get, like, like a, a point. So you have to kick it to a certain through the certain part of the. It's book. a giant carnival game, <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> oh yeah, and then like uh, oh, a team, a team of twos, like yeah. are like kind of like a um, a mm-hmm. race, and they actually have each have obstacles to go through. It's pretty. It's they should have carnies game. calling this game. <laughs> should have stringy haired guys with a lot Ooh, of gaps. I, can't, yeah, I but... can't wait for the Tony Romo analysis on these games. <laughs> you know what? You know how like in the in the in the Super Bowl you have a you have a football game and then you have like a mini concert in between. Yeah, they should have an entire concert and then shoehorn a little football game in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> just a one one just possession like a game. One possession game on just each bring side. Out just yeah. bring out a peewee football team. Just bring out a peewee football team. They might as well bring out a basketball court and be like first to five. I mean, first to five. Yeah, five yeah, 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 at this point, who the fuck cares, right? Yeah, that would be sick. Though, so, imagine. and and I understand they're no longer in Hawaii, right? Or, uh, they this, switch between they? Hawaii and Miami. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll find out where. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's going to be in Miami again. But yeah, exclusively they're not doing it in Hawaii. Okay, cool. Well, that's interesting, man. It's kind of like an American Gladiators type of thing, especially if if you could get them and all like to start grappling, that'd be dope. And then yeah, there's like a, <laughs> one really cool one I saw last year uh-huh. uh, with Drew Drew Brees one is that uh, the passing the, one, the passing one, yeah. and they have like certain moving targets worth points, like in the yeah, red they're zone. actually like big ass red targets, and uh-huh. like they actually got to knock them, and then. Uh, there's one where it's like going through like the goalpost and he has to try and throw it. Yeah, where like and, well, because it's spinning around it, so yeah. you can only get wow. it through the. Yeah, it's it's really dude. It's, it's fucking dope. And then all of a sudden they're just playing cornhole. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's just bad. It's like cornhole <laughs> for gladiators, food. <laughs> okay, it's still pretty fun to watch. The game itself is actually not as fun as those activities. So no, of course, those not. games are yeah, way Saturday's fun. worth it. Way to watch. more fun. Well, I'm glad uh, they added all that. Yeah, so uh, the game's gonna be uh, January 27th at 12 p.m. And it's going to be played in Orlando, Florida. Or Flando. Okay. At or Camping Flando. World Stadium. I did not know that was a thing. The what now? Camping World Stadium. Camping World Stadium. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. News to me. Sure. <laughs> well, Fu, got anything else for us? No, man. That's uh, that's it until we we see the return of LeBron. Wait. Your Super Bowl pick. Why? The Super Bowl's not next week? Let's see if you change it. Uh, I'm picking the Patriots soon. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're a bastard! You're you're a, you're a terrible human being for doing so. Though you might be right. <laughs> I'll tell you, man. As a Raiders fan, it's disappointing. I, many years of disappointment, thanks uh, to Mr. Brady. Yeah, I hear you, man. Oh, well, I mean, don't, don't thank Brady. Just thank your own Raiders for that one. Yeah, no, I was Brady Foo. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to be going with the Rams. You're going to go with the Rams. Yeah. Uh, well, I kind of have to because I've yeah. been riding this fucking bandwagon for the last two years. And he can't jump Foo, off not supposed now. to say that, fool. I mean, I've been, you know, it's he, been it's been a long fucking hustle. <laughs> you know, I've been with them since the first time they were in L.A. Oh, and, what? And, and, oh, bro, I, you don't even know. My heart shattered oh, when they went God. to St. Louis. No. And now they're back. Oh, my God. Now they're back. Oh, and hey, man, so my excited. dick could not be harder. I'm cutting diamonds with this bitch. Um, I what? Think, okay. All right. Thank you, everybody, <laughs> for listening. Thanks for our sports. Foo Bar Sports Podcast. I've been your host, Josh. I'm the Foo. And I'm Josie. Latest.